Okay, today I installed this flow below system. Actually, I, I feel spoiled. My dad got this for me uh, for my birthday. And uh, yeah, it's not cheap. Um, that was a very nice gift, so thanks dad. If you watch this, I've thanked him, but I don't know if he'll watch this video or not. It wasn't too bad, but I'll show you a couple things I ran into that uh, that you might have trouble with. Okay, this is what uh, this is the first thing. If you can see right here, this is the turn signal assembly for the back of the truck. I had to. There's a couple spacer plates in my old one that are right here that against the frame that held that held it out just a uh, half an inch or something. So what I ended up having to do is just notch just a tiny little notch out of this, out of your turn signal. Okay, the second thing was, uh, when you order one of these, you give them, all, every wheel is going to be different, as far as the depth of it right here. These are super singles that have a 0.5 uh, offset. So, this would have to be different. It mounts on your hub, so where it's going to, where this piece right here, this is what covers it up. This mounting is going to have to be different for every truck. This is what they sent me. It's a great big piece. And you can see that. I looked at that and I knew that would never work. So they were really good. It was just a mistake. And they uh, they sent me these. These are the right kind. They're non-adjustable. That's what they're made for. Um, basically zero offset single super. Or single super. Super single wheels. So if anybody, I'll try to do this one-handed, looking through the camera. Oh my! It's really easy to. Okay. There we go. All you do is just spring-loaded push in and turn, and that locks it on there. And the same deal. You push this button and turn it, and that's what takes it off. So really nice system. But I guess my main concern was this center section right here. The bracket that holds this. I think these are called. Uh, oh my! I can't remember what they're called now. But the the these are what holds the. This has an inboard uh, fifth wheel. Some of them have outboard where this piece right here will actually be flipped and the fifth wheel will be bolted to that. Now, if that's what you have, this is really really simple to do. You won't have this adapter plate right here. All you'll have is this piece, and it'll where the bolts are right here. They'll go straight through that, and that's it. Really simple. This one has an inboard fifth wheel, so they come with this adapter plate. Uh, hugs? Or, uh, no, not hugs. Starts with an H. I can't remember. But these can't be loosened. They have to be cut off with a torch. I used a cut-off wheel. But when you cut those off, uh, they're under a lot of pressure. So I had a welding helmet on, and gloves and stuck some rags inside here there's some valves and stuff I didn't want to shoot off and hit and break one so I stuck some rags so if it went flying it'd have a little cushion but uh, let me try to get under here maybe you can see there's the new bolt see those two gold bolts those are what takes the place of those, uh... And then here's what they, here's what these things look like. This is the, say this is the inside of the frame. Here's what's outside. There's where I cut it. So there's what it looks like on the truck now. I think it makes it look good. I, I think, you know, it's four aerodynamics. Uh, they claim 2%. That's what you pick up with it. But I think it looks good. I think it finishes the truck out. It's the same color as the uh, fairings on the truck. Um, my first impression of it is uh, it's really heavy duty. Oh, and here's another piece of it. Um, but yeah, when you call them, you give them your, your spacing on your bolts right here, the distance. And from frame to outside of tire, that's this. That's why your mud flap bracket will be right. So that's replaced. I actually cut down the mud flaps. They would have stuck out to here, but I have super singles instead of duals, so 
that's just uh, catching air and this is the diverter that kind of shoots out past the landing gear and you know there you can kind of see about uh, where the airstream is going to go but a nice setup um, I think I'll really enjoy it 